Hi Florina, nice to see these essays from you. Great work. Let's take a look straight away and see what you've written on this topic. The topic is uh, schools. Should they be entertaining or educational? Let's see what you wrote. Okay, the method of teaching in, let's make this educational institutes, has always been a debatable subject among people. While some people believe that the main focus of a school is to educate their children, others think that they should amuse and entertain children. This essay will explain why I strongly believe that schools should concentrate on students' education rather than entertainment. Okay. Um, you know what I'm thinking? I'm just reading your, this again. Look, take a look at what's happening. You have people here, and then three words later you have people again. And then here you have children, and then here you again you have children. Now, what some people try to do a lot in IELTS is they try to find synonyms for words like children, and they start writing things like offspring and youngsters. And really all you have to do is see where you can somehow use um, some cohesion through pronouns or maybe even through ellipsis. So let me tell you what I mean. You could have just stopped at here. The main focus of a school is to educate, comma. Others think that they should amuse and entertain children. Do you, okay, so do you see what I did? Uh, to make this repetition a little less, I just took out their children. Who we need to educate is rather obvious, and so I left it out, okay? Okay, so this essay will explain why I strongly believe that schools should concentrate on students' education rather than entertainment. Fine. Firstly, educational institutes, see here you wrote educational, were created to focus on children's schooling and prepare them for their future careers. This is important for young people who wish to build a successful career and create a bright future. Okay, again, career, career. It's not a tragedy, but just try to be aware of it, okay? And think about and think about how you could have used either some synonyms, some pronouns, or something else, okay? So here, for example, rather than saying their future careers, you could have said their future lives, right? Okay, um, all right. For example, if a student wants to become a doctor, biology and organic chemistry are the major fields mm, he or she needs to concentrate on without any distractions. Therefore, educating, ing here, has to be the most important objective for schools in order to prepare students for their future careers. You don't need the apostrophe s here. It doesn't belong to the future, okay? Secondly, for children to understand the importance of learning, the teachers need to focus on children's education rather than entertain them. This is largely because they need to accumulate sufficient knowledge and skills necessary for their development. For instance, a recent article in the school magazine mentioned that the subjects taught at school have a major role in, in, in child development without the A here, and then their main focus, I, R, instead of Y. Uh, is to enhance children's apostrophe s intelligence. Thus, schools represent an important tool for children's development, apostrophe s. Again, I feel like there's probably too much the word children here with the apostrophe. So children, apostrophe s, children, apostrophe, and then children again. Um, it's a little too much. Oh, yeah, and then here there was a fourth time you used the word children. Again, I don't want to suggest that I want you to use words like youngsters or offspring, but do try to use some pronouns where you can. Um, try to maybe f possibly use some synonyms, or in any case, try to rephrase the sentence somehow, because this is six lines, and you've got four, at least four, um, instances of the word children. Okay? Um, let's see. Now, another thing that I want to mention about this paragraph is your reference to development. So, um, necessary for their development, child development, and child development. And do you know what I feel is happening here? I just, I feel like you're really repeating yourself without telling us anything new. What do you mean by their development? And which area of their development? Their social development? Their mental development? Their, I mean, it's not really clear, so I feel like you've constructed this paragraph without really telling us anything, okay? Um, so they need to accumulate knowledge, so just make it a little more, more clear. I'd like to see a little more substance in this paragraph, okay? Okay, so in conclusion, although some people consider that schools have to have, no, have to be an entertainment place for children, 
I believe that this is not the case. It is important for schools to maintain their curriculum structure, focus on students' education, enhance their intelligence and knowledge. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's fine. It's a, it's a nice first essay, so well done. There was just that one area that I, I mentioned to you that I would like to see uh, worked on a little bit. So let's take a look at the second essay. It's the one about uh, what develops better skills in creativity, reading, or enjoyable activity. Let's see what you said. In today's society, parenting has become a controversial subject. While some people consider that it is important to involve their children in more fun activities, others are of the opinion that it is more important to teach them to read. This essay will explain why I believe that fun activities and games are more important in a child's apostrophe S development. Okay, again here, I want to just say this as a caveat. Um, this essay focuses on skills development and the development of creativity. So when you talk about a child's development, this is really rather vague. So make sure that it's clear to the reader or the examiner what kinds of skills that we're talking about. We're talking about creativity and we're talking about development of skills, okay? So just be careful. All right, let's see what you said for the rest of this. Firstly, playing with colorful toys and being engaged in fun activities, no comma is necessary here, is extremely important for children's, children's, you keep forgetting this S here, social development. This is because it develops their imagination as they are using their own knowledge and skills to create their own stories or to invent characters. For example, a recent article in the Child Development Magazine mentioned that children are developing their social and communication skills and also hand dexterities by being involved in attractive games such as playing with a dollhouse or racing cars. All right, that's very nice. I like this. There's one problem here. This um, present continuous, you don't need it. It's just a fact, so it should be present simple, okay? All right, secondly, there are various other durable activities that can enhance a child's abilities, like sports games. Being engaged in sports competitions, young people, mm, I think you mean by, by being engaged in sports competitions, young people might increase their confidence and develop their cognitive abilities. For instance, playing sports like tennis or swimming, you don't need a comma, are activities that can contribute to the development of self-esteem and discipline in children. Okay, in addition, uh, encouraging ING children to play sports like football, basketball, or cricket, Okay, by encouraging children to play sports like basketball or cricket, um, they can build teamwork skills, trust, and respect, which later will be useful in the workplace. Great, but where is this area about creativity? So here you're talking to me about teamwork, trust, respect. Here you're talking to me about communication skills and hand dexterities, but the essay also asks you to discuss creativity. Okay, so you missed that part. This might really harm your score because there's a whole area of this topic that you have not um, you have not developed. You've talked about the skills, but you haven't talked about that one particular one, which is creativity. So you really have to be careful. This is when you have to really, really, really make sure that you've covered all the areas of the task as they, as they have been written. All right, so moving on. In conclusion, although reading is an essential stage, no. Although reading is an essential stage without this it here in a child's development, I believe that other actions such as playing with a toy or participating in sports activities also has, okay, when you use or like this, it's one or the other, so it's still singular, has a significant relevance in a child's apostrophe S growth. Okay, so again, some nice things, some nice elements, some good um, portions of this essay. Uh, but there are some things that need to be corrected, need to be improved upon. But like I said, since it's your first set of essays, um, you're at a good starting point, so I'm really quite happy. All right, now what you need to do is you need to correct these essays uh, based on the corrections in this video. And then you have to start a list, which we'll now call the error correction list. You'll have to write down the errors that were pointed out to you, and then next to each error, what the suggested correction was, or what the error in any case was. Okay, so put these in a couple of different files, send them back to us with your next set of essays. Try to do all of this within the next day or so, so that you can really apply everything you've been learning, all right? So you've got those three things to do, the corrections, the error list, and then your new essays. So we're here, we're waiting to see what you write next, so we wish you lots and lots of good luck.